when the sleeper wakes. Item Number SCP-6778 Object Class Ketter Special Containment Procedures Mobile Task Force Zeta-28 Dreamwalkers have been tasked with monitoring the stability of coma patients worldwide to determine the frequency of SCP-6778 sightings. Verified witnesses should be transported to the nearest Foundation facility for interviewing purposes before being administered Class A amnestics and released for further medical treatment. Description SCP-6778 is a metaphysical space accessible solely to coma patients. All testimony of SCP-6778 is derived from individuals who experienced a state of prolonged unconsciousness. Footnote, whether naturally or medically induced. For a duration of no less than three months, most subjects are capable of recalling only vague details of time spent in SCP-6778, with the most comprehensive accounts obtained from persons comatose for one or more years. Footnote, it should be noted that the Nestic administration has proven ineffective at recalling patients' memories of SCP-6778. It is currently unknown what percentage of coma patients will experience SCP-6778. Some minor discrepancies aside, descriptions of SCP-6778 have remained largely consistent since reports first surfaced. SCP-6778 is visually reminiscent of a late 19th century American tavern situated in a vast desert landscape where the sun is perpetually on the horizon. When identified by name, SCP-6778 is generally referred to by witnesses as Seven Sleepers Saloon, or some variation thereof. But note, as noted by the Department of Mythology and Folkloristics, this name is likely derived from the medieval legend of the Seven Sleepers of Ephesus. A number of distinct markers have been identified within SCP-6778. Two doors are present, consisting of an entrance facing east and an exit facing west. Situated behind the front desk is a grandfather clock with no hands, which chimes solely when an individual enters or departs from SCP-6778. Several witnesses have also noted the presence of a frame doyle painting directly above the bar. Based on composite descriptions, this likely corresponds to an existing artwork by American painter John Quiter, pictured. Subjects who find themselves in SCP-6778 will arrive dressed in period-appropriate attire, retaining little memory of their previous experience, usually recalling only their first name. In this state, the subject is capable of interacting with other coma patients, similarly under the guise of tavern patrons. SCP-6778 is staffed by several bartenders, all dressed in white clothing, and reputedly under the employment of an unseen figure, only ever referred to as Doc. As well as alcohol service, SCP-6778 features live entertainment such as music, singing, and line dancing. Food is also available upon request, although provisions appear to be limited solely to broth. It should be noted that the appearance of individual SCP-6778 staff members and performers has been found to vary depending on the observer, typically taking on the physical characteristics of those close to the subject such as friends, relations, or past romantic partners. SCP-6778-A denotes a separate humanoid entity which exists in SCP-6778, the precise nature of which remains uncertain. SCP-6778-A, usually identified by the name of Mr. Chance, is invariably described as a tall man of indeterminate age, dressed in a dark overcoat with black gloves and leather boots. The upper portion of SCP-6778-A's face is constantly obscured by a wide-brimmed hat. SCP-6778-A has never been observed drinking or dancing instead remaining sat motionless at all times with a stack of playing cards laid before it. It is not believed that subjects feel any compulsion to approach SCP-6778-A, but may do so willingly. Should the subject challenge SCP-6778-A to a game of poker, SCP-6778-A will agree. Footnote. Regardless of previous experience, 
All subjects have recounted possessing an intrinsic understanding of the game of poker during their time in SCP-6778. At this point, all in-house entertainment will halt, while a crowd of customers encircle the two players. Upon completion, regardless of the game's outcome, the player must depart from SCP-6778, bidding farewell to their fellow patrons before drinking one final glass of ale. Those who win the match will pass through the eastern door, while those who lose will take the western exit. Following this, SCP-6778-A will silently reshuffle its cards before returning to its inert state, while the entertainment resumes. As of 2023, there have been 86 confirmed reports of SCP-6778 from coma patients in over a dozen countries worldwide. Of these cases, all have recounted playing poker with SCP-6778-A, and all have reported winning.